Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalif from CyberPanel and in today's video we are going to be learning about how you can create backups using Word, uh, CyberPanel WordPress Manager. So in today's video we will be creating a, a backup using CyberPanel and then restoring that backup as well. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so there are two types of destination that can be used while creating backups on CyberPanel. Now destinations are basically remote locations where you can uh, save your data in case your server is corrupted and these two types are AWS S3 and SFTP. Today we are going to be using uh, AWS. So uh, for here you need to uh, first of all log into your AWS uh, uh, console so that we can get our access key and our secret key. Now search for I am in the top bar. and select I am from here click on the users and first of all we are going to need to add a new user here so click on add new add user Enter your username and click on. Uh, so once this is good enough, we need access key and click on next. Now from here, click on attach existing policies and search for S3, uh, which will ultimately give you Amazon S3 full access. Click on that. And click on next next review and create user so our user is created this is our access key and this is our secret key so let's go back to our cyber panel dashboard now okay so now that we have our access key and our secret key we can start with creating backups now come on to your cyber panel dashboard from here click on wordpress from the left hand side menu click on remote backup and it's going to open up a new page. Now, first of all, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to configure uh, our destination that we need to tell CyberPanel that we are going, that the, our destination is going to be S3 Amazon. So for that, click on select remote backup style. So it's S3. Now we need to choose our provider. We are using AWS or Amazon. You can select that. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it my own name. Now we need the our access key, which is this one. And next is our secret key. And click on save configuration. So once the page is refreshed, you will be able to see your scheduled new key over here. So this is our new key right over here. So what this is, is this is basically uh, your backup configuration. Now we can schedule backups using this. So just simply click on schedule backups. And once you schedule backup, you can name it whatever you want. Name one. You can select your frequency. Now with CyberPanel, you can have a frequency of 30 minutes also. Your backup retention, uh, file retention can be three days. It can have your uh, file for three days. Now next is our type. Now this is very important. If you want only database, you can select that and then uh, go back again and uh, again schedule one for the website. For that, you can increase the frequency as much as you want. So right now we're going to select website and database both. Click on uh, save backup schedule. and our schedule has been saved. So now you can add it, all, uh, add it also by clicking on edit and you can change the frequency from here, you can change the file retention from here as much as you want. Now this is, is only going to work if you add sites to it. It needs some sites so that it can start the backup process. So click on add WordPress sites. 
click on select WordPress site. Now you can select your sites, save backup schedule. Again, I can add as many um, sites to it as I want that are present in my server. So these sites are going to have a backup now. So now that our, this, we know how you can back up your sites, now let us see how we can restore our sites. Okay, so now to restore our sites, go into WordPress on the left hand side menu and click on restore backups. Now over here you are going to see all the sites basically that are present. So these are all the sites, what I can do is I can click on restore against the site that I want to restore. Now there are two methods, either I can restore it to a new site uh, and because of which you would need a new domain name or you can select the second method which is to restore to the existing site and for that you need to choose the site on which you want uh, the restoration to happen. I will just write test and click on restore backup now. And once this is started, my restoring of backup will begin. Okay, so now you can see that our restore has been uh, successfully be done and it is going to be present on this URL now. So this is how you can very successfully uh, backup and then restore your website using Cyber Panel WordPress Manager. I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.